Hello everyone, my name's Lauren and welcome to a review of the Hyger Ultra Silent Piezoelectric Ceramic Mini Air Pump, which is a very long name for a very small bit of kit. This tiny little pump was sent to me by Hyger to review, and we're going to take a look at what you get in the box, how to set it up, its design and build quality, and what it's like to use. And this is a teeny tiny little pump, measuring just 6cm in diameter. Compare that to my AP3 kit and you can see why they call it a mini pump. Straight out of the box, it comes with a 3-pin plug, a little suction cup, a clip for the tank, roughly 1 metre of airline, a 2 cm round air stone, and a set of instructions. These instructions are nice and succinct, and they come with the usual collection of interesting pidgin English, but they do point out two things that you need to be aware of about this little pump. One is that it needs to be sighted above the waterline where there is no risk of backflow, and it's also not waterproof, so don't be tempted to use the little sucker to stick it to the inside of the tank, it needs to be sighted on the outside. So this little pump only uses an absolutely minuscule 1.5 watts of power, and so running it all day, every day, you are barely going to notice it on your electric bill. And as you can see, the output is only 0.42 litres per minute, which is perfect if you have a little nano tank or a shrimp tank, or for fry boxes for example. Basically any tank that is under about 40 litres, and it also works perfectly with a small sponge filter as well. Setting up the little pump is a simple case of either attaching the clip if you've got an open top tank so that you can just hook the pump onto the side, or you can use the little suction pump if your tank has a lid that prevents you from doing this. Although to be honest, even on my open top tanks I tend to prefer the little suction cup. It is very satisfying how neatly this little cup fits into the recess onto the back of the pump. It's also very grippy, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip away, and it is a neat and stylish design compared to the clip itself. But as mentioned before, the pump does need to be sighted above the waterline, and for that reason it doesn't come with a non-return valve. The pump itself though is a nice solid little lump, it feels durable and like it could take being dropped a few times. The airline it comes with is pretty standard and it's perfect for the job it was meant to do, and the airstone as I said is a nice coarse one giving lots of good sized bubbles rather than the very very fine ones you get from a dense stone. The suction cup is sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's ever going to lose its grip very easily, and because of this it does have a little tab on it so that you can easily pull it away from the glass without damaging it. The clip as well is quite solid. I've clipped it on and off the pump numerous times now, and it's not showing any sign that it's going to break. It also fits very snugly against the pump body, so it doesn't create any sort of vibration noises. And for the most part, this is a very solid and dependable little bit of kit. But why oh why does it have such a short power cable? It is only one metre long. Now, assuming your tank is at a sensible viewing height, such as on a table, then this cable is so short it's going to struggle to reach a plug socket, never mind if you're using an extension cable that's on the floor. Just 30 centimetres more cable would have made all the difference here, so it's a bit of a shame, and in some cases it could actually really hamper where you sight your tank. Setup is as simple as pushing one end of the airline onto the outlet on the top of the pump, and then attaching the air stone to the other end. You may well need to shorten the airline, a metre is quite a lot for a small tank, but doing so is very simple and you can easily cut it down to length, simply with a sharp pair of scissors. Then attach the pump to the side of the tank using either the clip or its little sucker, and then you just pop the stone wherever you want it to be and switch the pump on. As you can see, the stream of bubbles it produces is very reasonable for a small or nano tank. They are neither very fine nor are they very large, but they have enough force in them to create a very gentle movement in the water, which is ideal for creatures that don't like a great deal of flow, like shrimp for example. But this is the most important part. This little pump claims to be ultra silent, and this is how it sounds. Now compare that to my other mini air pump from Marina. And I think we can all agree this is a very, very quiet pump. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised by just how quiet it is, as I have come to be rather suspicious of anything that claims to be silent. 
but this seems to be the real deal. I've had it running on the side of my 25 litre shrimp tank now for the past two weeks, and to be honest, I've just forgotten that it's there. The bubbles bursting at the surface make more noise than the pump does itself. Now, I am not going to pretend I have the faintest idea of how piezoelectric ceramic works. It deforms under an electric current is about as much as I know. But having that rather than the usual rubber diaphragm that other pumps use does mean that there's no vibration to cause the noise that you normally get from a normal air pump. And so this is remarkably quiet. I would even go so far as to say it is bedroom quiet. So long as you don't mind the mild white noise produced by the bursting bubbles, then it is easily quiet enough for the bedroom or any other room in the house for that matter. And so overall, this is a really nice little air pump for a small tank. It is very easy to set up, it's very easy to use, and it does exactly what it says on the lid. It pumps air into a tank ultra silently. Just so long as you have a socket close enough to actually plug it in, that is. Anywho though, I hope you've enjoyed this little review of the Ultra Silent Mini Pump from Hyger. Happy fish keeping everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye!